All right, guys, welcome everybody to Diamond Zone. Uh, what is it? Tuesday, June 13th. And I want to thank you from my heart for all the birthday wishes yesterday. We had a great day. Um, <clears throat> you know, birthdays are birthdays, but that was a great day. And all your, all your wishes were very heartfelt. So thank you. And we have a new birthday today. I don't want to miss anybody, but today is Fran's birthday. So everybody wish Fran birthday. Everybody wave to Fran. Happy birthday, Fran. I know she's probably mad at me, but that's okay. Okay. So it's Fran's birthday, but uh, I'm going to talk about today, guys, um, just some recapping. Obviously, what am I going to say? We all know about Vegas. Everybody's getting excited about Vegas. Um, it's going to be an over-the-top event. Every day that goes by, we, we add more things that we're going to be um, um, talking about. So you don't want to miss Vegas. Remember the gold and platinum rush. Anybody who hits gold or platinum um, and you bring that through your back office at the event, you're going to get VIP seating. Um, yesterday, guys, we talked about rank advancement um, to, to uh, your next level. And a lot of you who have a, a built-in group could really just recycle Okay, you could just recycle your base by just getting people to buy the BioZen. So, you know, you got to put your figure it out hats on some of you because you're working so hard over these last uh, two week pay cycle. Um, so obviously it's official. The pay cycle has been um, extended. We knew that. So keep working, keep working through next Tuesday, guys, because a lot of you have done a lot of the hard work and a lot of those things um, that you've done will not sprout up until maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So keep working. I had a call with somebody yesterday and they said, well, I had five people in the funnel ready to go. And, and, and a lot of them didn't do it yet. Well, doesn't mean it's dead. It means you just got to keep the follow up. Okay. The hardest part of this business sometimes is getting people to make that decision. And, and, and one of the ways I always do it, is I take it away. I take it away. If someone, if someone receives the information, okay, and, and here's the information, two minute video, five minute vi video, um, the webinar, maybe a three way call. If they've gone through those four steps and they haven't made a decision, guys, take it away. You know what I mean by take it away? This may not be for you, you have to move on. Because if everybody thinks they're your opportunity, okay, they keep stringing you along. Sometimes you have to say no to somebody to be in power, okay? Because if you really believe this was the greatest opportunity, would you have to beg for it? Of course not. Look, I want you guys to all think about your journey, every single person. Did anybody put a gun to your head? No, what did you see? Okay, just, just look at your journey and expect the same thing from everybody else. The ones that give us the biggest problems and want all the answers, never do it anyway. That's what I found. And if they do do it, they're a big pain in the you know what. Okay, because they're, 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 never, they're never out there just going out there. All the people on this call, it was very peaceful with your decision. And, and, and understand, we got what? You always have about, what, 100 people on this call? Okay, give or take. Well, no one begs you to be on this call every morning. This is what it means to sponsor correctly. But understand, to get 100 people on a morning meeting, how many people did we have to talk to? How many people did we have to sponsor? You follow me? See, it keep, it, 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 every time you go for leadership, it ciphers down. So you have a lot of people you talk to, but very few people get involved. Then from the people that get involved, you all know a third do nothing, a third are frozen, and a third go to work. Well, this, what you're seeing here every morning, okay, is the people that are going to work. These are the people that want to make it happen. But see, this group, you know what it represents? Thousands of people that were talked to. Does this make sense, guys? Okay, this group that you see every morning represents thousands of people. And I have people calling me going, Jeff, how is this person going diamond in a week? 
How does this person go? Well, there was a president done last yes uh, yesterday. Ton and Van brought a guy in, and two weeks became president. And people go, well, how does that happen? How does that happen? Guys, listen, they have a base. Okay, every single person here, you have a base of people to touch. But from this base, and here's the good news, you don't need a lot of people. You don't need a lot of people to make a lot of money, but you gotta talk to a lot of people in order to get people into your opportunity, okay? Like I'm gonna say something here, so um, uh, uh, mind boggling. This is a numbers game, as you know, okay? So as always, I got off track, okay? So that was my little, that was my little opening monologue, okay? Now, the BioZen, obviously guys, could help everybody's volume, we know that. If you were on the call last night or yesterday, um, you met Taylor Worry. okay? I want you guys to understand what this company is doing. And I'm telling you right now, this company looks completely different than it did just 90 days ago. Okay, it's amazing. When we got involved, do you understand there was no customer service? Lisa was customer service. Lisa was up every day at three in the morning because customer service was in Italy. And she had to get up at three in the morning to take care of all your problems. Okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm just saying because you were emailing Lisa and Lisa was customer service. Do you understand what's happened in just 90 days? Now, with, with Taylor Worry, Taylor Worry is the son of Eric Worry. Okay, he's, he's the one that does the GoPro events. Okay, not that that makes a difference. I'm just saying, if you listen to that gentleman, he's very well versed in the industry. So he is now our communications director. And that was a big, I'm telling you, that was a big issue because this is an Italian company. Did, has, did anybody ever go on the website when it first came out, the translation? People would read it and go, what are they even, they don't even know how to talk. Am I going to get involved in this business? This was a big problem, the communication between corporate and the field. Well, that's been solved. And I'm telling you, communication is everything. So I'm so very excited about Taylor Worry and, and what's happening. Um, the other thing I want you guys um, to understand is the shipping. It's been a big issue. We all know it. And I get excited every single day when I see people getting their product on Facebook and, and making a big deal out of it. But here's what I want you to understand. They're getting their hands around shipping. There's no doubt about it, okay? People are now getting their products. I was never worried if they're gonna get them. It's just keeping them, right? It's keeping their head right while they don't have their product. And that's the other thing. Some people make a big deal out of it. And here's what you have to understand, and you have to release this, guys. If people wanna find a reason to quit, they will. If it wasn't shipping, they find something else. Because obviously, you couldn't dynamite me out of here. Okay, so what, would it make a difference? No, but if I wanna find, if I wanna find an excuse right now, me, me and Lisa to quit, could we not find one? We could justify anything. So just don't blame anything, it's the person. It's the person. Now, here's what I do believe. I want people, when you sign people up starting today, four to six weeks, tell them about shipping. Let's just be safe. Four to six weeks, okay? So Mary Sue, welcome to the team. Okay, I'm so excited. You know what? We're putting together your premium pack right now. Okay, and we're, we're gonna put it in. You're gonna get your website. Here's your welcome letter. But I wanna make sure you understand, Mary Sue, it's gonna take four to six weeks to get your product. In the meantime, okay, I'm gonna put you on a business plan, Mary Sue, to recoup your cash before you even get your product and become profitable. You see the spin, guys? Do you think she's worried about the product now? All she just heard is recouping her cash and becoming profitable. So it's all about how you set it up. Because some people, it just goes, un, it goes unsaid. Because you're so excited you got a premium pack, right? Oh my God, I got a premium pack. Don't tell them about the shipping. 
<laughs> now, all of a sudden, the person's calling you after four days going, where is my product? Are you kidding? Whose fault is that? It's our fault. Of course it's our fault. We didn't set that person up. If someone knows they can't complain, just be honest and truthful. Four to six weeks for shipping. And then take it away and spin it about the welcome letter and how you're going to support them to help them build their business. See if product even comes up anymore. That's how you do it, okay? So be upfront with people, guys, with, with, with the shipping. But, um, and the other thing, um, if you guys were on Chad and Atita's call last night, um, a lot of people saw the, the new slides, the PowerPoint presentation. I couldn't really see them, okay? But there is a new PowerPoint presentation coming out. It's not official yet because they're getting feedback from the presidents and above um, about the content. So that was just like a trial run. And the reason I'm even addressing that is because a lot of people are saying, I want the new PowerPoint presentation. You'll have it when we have it, okay? Because there were certain slides, okay, that I didn't think came through. So we're having a meeting about that. So just so you understand, um, that will come your way. Um, we're back on pat, pat, back on pace for our weekly calls. They'll start again tomorrow. The only reason I didn't do mine yesterday was because I'm not going to compete with Chad and Natita. Okay. If there's a choice to put your people on the call with Chad and Natita, number eight in the world versus ours, we want to get everybody onto their calls. That's just common sense. So we're back on Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. You guys know the routine. All right, um, this morning at 10 a.m., Chad and Natita and Ramasio, okay, so in other words, Grand President Millionaire and Double President Millionaire are going to be doing like uh, an impromptu question and answer session, okay, about how to build your business, where I guess it's Ramasio interviewing Chad and Natita, so I'm sure there'll be great tips uh, about how to build your business. That will be on Chad and Natita's website, which I think, don't quote me, I think it's CN World, no, live. Nah. Does anybody know it? Use your chat. Will that be recorded? Yeah, they're all recorded, guys. If there's someone, you guys could find it, there it is. Thanks. Who's that? Stephanie. That's uh, Cindy Brady. Thank you, Cindy. Live at cnworkglobal.com. All right. There it is. That's where. That's at 10 o'clock today. All right. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. Uh, to keep this meeting running, please host and click right. Cancel. Sign in. That's weird. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take myself off video in case this thing goes off. Can you guys see me? Or hear me, I should say? Someone use their chat. I wanna make sure I didn't go off. Can I be heard? Perfect, okay. All right, so guys, what I wanna talk about today um, is, is, is the value of, of really the business and, and where people are, it's really your journey. It's your journey in this business and here's what I always talk about. I respect people who take the journey and I know sometimes you guys get tired of hearing it, but you know, you have no idea what, what it means to be committed every morning to these types of calls. It's like an early, it's, it's like a wake up call, right? To get some information, no matter what you get, if you're plugged in, if you're plugged in, now listen to my words, it betters your chances for success. Doesn't mean you're gonna become successful if you're plugged in, because the whole idea is to take this information and apply it. But as you take this journey, what you wanna understand is what launches everybody's business is the, the importance of getting people moving quickly because what launches everybody's business is enthusiasm. But let me tell you what happens to enthusiasm. 
it goes away very quickly. If I bring a new person into the business, they've never been more excited and they'll never be more excited than that day they made that decision. And if you don't get with that new person very quickly, they lose momentum. And you guys have heard this before because they go back to the very thing they want to get away from. See, you may have them for a short period of time because think about how most people make their decision. I want you guys to think about this. Don't people make their decision based on a lot of times a two minute video, then a five minute video. Okay. They're seven minutes. And let's say they get on a three way call and let's say they watch an hour webinar. So what did they, we had them for what an hour and a half before they really made a decision. And if we don't get with this brand new person who's excited, right? Who's excited then guess what? They go right back to that job. And how long does that job have them? 12 hours. I had them for an hour. The job has them 12 hours, five days a week. Do you see what happens? This is what some people say. Well, why is it some people get with their people and they start to get their two people and become team developers so much quicker? Because follow-up is twofold. Follow-up is when you have a new prospect that you're trying to follow up with, but follow-up also is with your new person who already made the decision. The work starts when you bring them in. Bringing them in, and, and you guys are going to understand this because a lot of you do understand this. Recruiting will be easy. And you're probably thinking, wow, I wish it would become easy. It will become easy. You know the hard part? Getting people moving. That's the hard part because it's up to us. They don't have the time schedule. We have to create the urgency, okay? I'm on these calls every morning because I want to create the urgency. No one makes me do this. I understand the importance because it was done for me. Well, the same thing happens when you bring in a new person. Guys, listen, there is a responsibility when you bring in a new person. Unless you're working for the immediate income. If you're just working for your hundred bucks because you brought in a family pack, okay, then don't follow up. But if you're working to find out what you really got, you got to get with that person quickly. You got to get them making their list. You got to get them sending out that two minute video. You got to set up their launch call. Why? Because they're excited. They're excited. And you got to take advantage of that excitement because what happens is this, okay, when they make their decision, like I said, they're excited, but if you don't get with them very quickly, guess what happens? Do you ever see somebody in the organization that you brought in run out of gas? And this says 30, 60, 90, 120 days. Here's what I'm going to put 24, 48, 72 hours. That's what I'm talking about. If you don't get with your new person who made a decision within 24, 48, or 72 hours, I'll even say this, within 24 hours, they've lost 50% of their steam. Okay, it's, it's the same analogy, and I know you guys are sick and tired of hearing it. If I signed up somebody in the health clubs, if I signed up somebody, if I signed up um, Ward today, and I didn't get Ward back into, to, into the club within 24 hours for his first workout, 50% of the people that joined, you will never see again. Did you hear what I said? If I signed up somebody today and they didn't come in for their first workout within 24 hours, 50% of those people would never make their first payment. Is this any different? No, it's the same thing. So I wanna make sure you guys take on the responsibility when you do bring in somebody. That person's like, you'll see, is like a newborn baby. Does that newborn baby eat if you don't feed them? Of course not. Well, you just gave birth. And that newborn baby needs to eat how often? Every two hours. Am I not right? Every two hours. And what do they do? 
They eat, they burp, and they poop. They eat, they burp, and they poop. Well, that's a new, that's a new distributor. You gotta be mama. You gotta walk them through. You gotta be there for them, otherwise they're gonna run out of gas. And what gives, what feeds people is, once they make their decision, okay, and once you get them moving, you know what happens? They will get some results. And let me tell you something, it doesn't matter the results. As long as you get people moving. A no is a result. But you know what keeps people in as they take this journey? This knowledge that we're giving you every morning. Right? Because let's just say you got involved and I went to work with you. Right? And then all of a sudden we went to work and you got your first 10 no's. A lot of you think that would be horrible. No. Because if they were plugged into the system and they were on these types of calls and whatever um, World Global Network provides as far as training, they would understand the no's are okay. So guess what happens? The knowledge allows them to keep moving forward. Do you understand how this all ties in? Right, it, it, all, it, it, it all ties in enthusiasm tempered with knowledge. And the knowledge is ongoing. You guys, this is earn as you learn. That's what this is. Okay, we all know, right? Every no makes you one step closer to a yes. But a new person doesn't know that a lot of times. They just think, oh, a no is a sign that this really isn't for me. Because people don't understand. All people know is what they know. If no one's never been in sales, they think a no is like catastrophic. Right? It's like the person, here we go again, that works out for the first time. And they're sore as hell the next day. And they take that as a sign that they shouldn't be working out. No, their muscles are saying, oh my gosh, what happened? I didn't even know I was here. Well, it's the same thing when anybody learns any type of new endeavor. But here's the good news here. There's really nothing to learn. It's just getting the numbers out. Okay? So we have a great opportunity. Everybody on this call. And I want you to understand what business you're in. Okay? World Global Network, you are not in the product business. World Global Network is in the product business. World Global Network meets with all the manufacturers. They decide which product to bring into the base. Right now, should we have product knowledge? Of course, here's my product knowledge. Okay, let me show you my product knowledge. Ready? I'm gonna put my camera on. Here's my product knowledge. That's it, I wear it. There's my knowledge. And I press a button, I press a button and I tell you my heart rate and I can tell you to go, how does it work? You know what I say? I don't know. I don't know. How does your cell phone work? You know, before you bought it, did you have to know how it worked? Or did you, all you wanted to know is when you dial the phone, okay, somebody else picks up, it worked. How does your refrigerator work? I don't know. How does my TV work? Do you ever figure out how the TV works? Before I bought it, listen, hang on a second now, Mr. Costco guy, because that's where I bought my TV. Before I buy this TV, can you please explain to me how this works? You know what he would do? Go try that. I want everybody to go, go, go to an electronic store and before, be, just go play with the salesperson. And just say, listen, I'm thinking about buying this 90-inch TV. But before I buy, can you tell me how it works? He would look at you like you're insane. Right? Well, you plug it in and you press this thing that says power. That's how it works. Okay, are some of you laughing? But you all get stumped. Well, how does Hilo work? I don't know. It's not my business. <laughs> it's not my business. Okay. okay, I mean, can you imagine? Well, before I buy this stove, okay, I, I gotta know how this works. Cause I'm gonna be cooking Thanksgiving dinner and if, if Thanksgiving dinner is gonna be really, really good, I have to know how this stove works. 
Oh my God. You see, you gotta make fun. I just make fun of people. I, you know what I say? I don't know. All I know is it works because look at my phone says it works. Anyway, WGN is the product business. You know what business we're in? The opportunity business. And when someone gets involved with our opportunity, right? Some people just get involved in the product. What are they called? Consumers. Are consumers good? Absolutely. Go sell your product. Get your product out there. We should be creating consumers every single day. But don't let your consumer go without knowing there's a business attached to it. Because how many people would love an opportunity to make money? And then here's why you should feel secure about offering people an opportunity. Because let me ask you a question, especially this group. Do, not, do we not provide training? See, it's an equal lateral triangle. If you take away anything, what happens to the triangle? It collapses. So this is not more important than this, and this is not more important than this. They're all equal. And everybody on this call, you're a product of this opportunity. You have a great product, you accepted the opportunity, and you're part of the training. And what do you think I believe that keeps people in? What keeps people in is being part of. That's why I say you need to be in Vegas. I don't just say that to say it. I don't say it because I get a percentage when you spend your money for a ticket. I, I don't, that's not what we make. It's not how we make money. I do it because I know the importance of big events. It keeps you in the game because you're faced every day with what? Every day you wake up, you have two choices. Quit or keep going. Am I not right? And don't tell me you haven't thought about quitting. We know that. And what keeps you in? Okay, your why. That's what keeps you in. But you have to understand where people are and what they want versus what they need. Okay? What people think they want when they first get involved is I need to understand the helo. I just talked about this. How does it work? What do I say if? Well, do we not just cover that? You know why people tend to move towards the product? Because it's tangible. And a lot of times, okay, you could touch it, you could feel it, you could see it. You always tend to get on, on, out of balance on the product side in the beginning. And the reason why people go down this road, because there's still a mental battle going on. Yes, I made my decision. Okay, but don't think fear and doubt just goes away. A lot of times they doubt their decision. That's why I said you have to get with them in 24 hours because doubt will set in. Doubt will set in. They're fearful that it won't work. Fear and doubt controls most people. This is what you're dealing. This doesn't go away just because someone bought a premium pack. Sometimes it escalates it. Why? Because all they saw themselves doing was spending money. Remember my example I just used? Listen, Mary, it's going to take four to six weeks to get your product. Let's put that aside. Let me show you now how to become profitable. Now I'm hearing profit. Now I'm hearing earning money. Everything we do is to take away the fear and doubt. Let me show you the business plan on how to get to Diamond. And now I'm showing that person how they could start making $2,000 a week. Do you think they're worried about their product now? Am I not taking away some of their fear? Now I want them going to sleep thinking, I'm going to make $2,000 a week. I'm going to make $2,000 a week. I was just put on a business plan to make $2,000 a week. It takes away sometimes the fear. And a lot of times, if we don't get people moving, procrastination sits in or sets in. What people need is they need 10% product trading, 10% comp training, 80% you training. What do we do every morning? Is this not you training? Lisa may get out, get, get on these calls every so often and talk about comp. Maybe 10% of these calls are comp. 
I think these calls represent what I just showed you. 10% product, 10% comp, 80% on how to build. 80% understanding you. You know why understanding you is so important? So you could understand others. That's why. Because we're all pretty much cut from the same cloth, guys. Understanding defeats fear. When someone gets involved, guys, it's a difficult period. Know that. Look at your journey. Many can't take the heat. Many can't deal with the fear. This is when you find some people hanging on to what? Oh my gosh, where is my product? How many times have you heard this one? I know a lot of you are going to nod your head on this one. I can't really go out there and talk to people until I get my product. I have to be able to show my product. I have to be able to demonstrate it. Do you know, okay, you see my face now. Do you know I've never demonstrated my product? I've never had to demonstrate my product to get somebody involved in the business. Now, I've been out there in, 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 the, in, in the sauna, and I've been out there, and I've been doing an EKG, and someone says, what's that? But I don't have to take my product and show them it before I get them involved. If that was the case, how the hell did we sell 500,000 units, <laughs> right? Where most people didn't have their product. What are we selling? Okay, we're selling what this product is going to do when they get it. And we're, we're all rolling the dice that the product's gonna work. Well, let me ask you, does the product work? Of course it works. So now, understand where people are when they go out there and build their business. Did you make coffee? You did? Can you pour me some, a little creamy? My daughter. Okay, so new person, stage one. A lot of you are stage one, right? Remember, remember wedding, wedding crashers, stage one clinger, okay? Well, our stage one is like a baby. They choke a lot. I used this analogy already. They want someone to hold their hand. This is when you get with a new person, right? When you get with a new person, unless they have unbelievable network marketing experience, you got to understand where they're at. They're stage one. They're clingers. They have no understanding that what they're going to hear or what they're going to experience is normal. None. They don't understand that people don't want answers. A lot of people, as you know, just want to watch you squirm. They're trying to put you on the hot seat. Right, because here you are, brand new person, trying to convince another person to get involved with something you don't have. Think about that one. And then the person goes, well, how's it working for you? Uh, have you made any money yet? Uh, <laughs> right, this is all the stuff we hear as a new person. And we think, oh my gosh, what do I say? Okay, what's the solution here? You better be working closely with your sponsor. Pull the expert in while you choke. Let the expert burp you. Let the expert change your diaper. Let the expert see if you have a rash. You're a baby. You got to understand the, 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 the analogy, guys. A brand new person, what do you want from your brand new person? You know what I want? I want their contact base. I want to set them up that, listen, we're working together. Mary, make your list. Get this two-minute video out. Here's the script. When someone bites, pull me in. Do not try to talk at this point. Just tell people you're excited. And the more experience you have, right, then you could become the expert for others. This is what you have to know about a new person. Now, that's why I say when you, give, when you get people started and you go through that welcome letter, you know what you're doing during this welcome letter phase? You're finding out what grade they're in. 
I got to find out, right? If, 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 if I get transferred, right? I used to, I, I went to a lot of different schools, right? I have to figure out what my knowledge base is. So I, I, went, I, went, I went to a school, I had to take a test to figure out if I could even get into the school. Didn't pass, by the way, okay? So here's the deal. It's the same thing with a new distributor. I gotta sit down and go, okay, let's find out what I really bought here or what I, what I caught. Well, Jeff, listen, let's say you caught me. Well, let me tell you, I got this down. I've been doing this 24 years. Here's our resume. Am I in stage one? No, but most people, you just have to understand where you're gonna put them. If you have a stage one person, understand what they're gonna go through. Understand what to expect. Don't expect a brand new baby, right, to go out there and do their own webinars. Expect the baby to do some very simple things. Let's go back to our program. What do we tell people to do? Don't think, just send this two minute video out. Don't think, just set up a three way call. Pull the expert in. People need knowledge. They need you to give them direction. A lot of times we bring people in and we let them just go. Not good. Stage two, people need insight. They're growing. Because they went through stage one, they start to have insight into what they've learned. Now listen to me, how did they learn? They learned because they, were, they pulled you into four three-way calls. That's why. They learned because they were on your webinars. They learned because they were on the Diamond Zone calls. They start to have insight of why people say the things they say. They understand a no isn't devastation. It's still, it's still a lot of times tough time dealing, but you know what? They have an understanding of it because you took them through into stage two. They're growing. They're starting to crawl. They're starting to crawl on their own. Now you got to watch them. Right? You ever have a baby when they start to crawl? You turn your head for a second, they're gone. Okay, you still, you, you still got to be there for them, but it's different problems than they had when they started. Can anybody here, okay, think about people you have in your organization that you've taken from one to two? From choking like a baby to growing? See, they expect to be put on the hot seat because they've been through it with you. They're comfortable with it. That's why I say, Okay, there, you know how many three-way calls uh, we used to do um, for, for people in our organization? Now, guess what? They're doing their own three-way calls. They're doing their own webinars. They've moved out of the house. They, maybe they come home once a week now for, for Sunday dinner. But for the most part, they're on their own, right? Some of you got to come back for Sunday dinner. Okay, it's okay. We're still your parents. Okay, but that's, that's stage two, growing. You're walking people through this. Stage three, okay, growing leaps and bounds. Taking people to stage three, a better understanding of people makes it easier to have a good, un, a, a good attitude. How do you understand people? I just told you. Understand yourself. When I get people to stage three, they anticipate the objections people are going to have. No one could shock me with whatever comes out of their mouth because I've been through it. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. Four or five things that people will say to you every single time. But here's my question. When you're in stage three, you're ready for them. I got it. I know no matter what comes out of your mouth, I'm prepared to not combat it, to address it. I'm never combative because if you're combative, people put their feet in the sand and they, and they want to make sure they're letting you know they're right. No, I'm just going to address it. Listen, Jeff, listen, I, before I get involved, I have to know exactly how this product works. Well, I understand the way you feel. That's a whole nother training. 
Well, let me tell you, do you know that I didn't have my product for the first 12 weeks? I understand how most people think, but let me tell you what I did. Let me tell you what, how much money I earned. Because all I did was send out that two minute video. Instead of being tongue tied, you have a response. This is stage three. You think it's fun to be put on the hot seat. Starting to understand how attitude determines altitude. And you know what, guys? If there was any truer statement, even though it's a statement that Zig Ziglar used 50 years ago, it is so true. Every day you wake up, if you have a good attitude, okay, it'll determine how far and how high you go that day. If you have a bad attitude, guess what? You have a bad day. And the reason, and the reason why that's so important, the reason why I think these types of calls are important, because I know every day you don't wake up with a good attitude. Duh, we're human. Okay, who knows what happened last night? And now you wake up, you go, oh, okay, I got to hit that diamond ranking. I'm not in the right frame of mind. Well, maybe I should get on diamond zone. And maybe we keep you in for one more day where you could turn your business around. That's the business. It's keeping people part of stage three. Stage four, okay? This is what the goal is for everybody. Become a master builder. A lot of you are on this journey, guys, and so proud of everybody on these calls, okay? You, have a you made a decision. You wanna become a master builder. Here's where people take ownership of their company. They take ownership. They still know their parents are there if they need them, okay? They don't let ego take them over. They'll still pull them in if they need to, but they understand what people are going to say, do before they even say it. They could read right through it. I know on a three-way call very quickly what I have after asking a couple of questions. You have actually gone from being on the hot seat to putting people on the hot seat. How about that one? Have you done that one late, lately? Instead of people asking you questions, you're asking the questions about their situation. You're watching them squirm. You're watching their responses. This is when you're in power. And I use this analogy a lot. Okay, when I was hiring for Bally's, okay, for a certain position, did I not interview people? I was putting them on the hot seat. I want to know if they were worthy of this $100,000 a year job I have. So I'm determining if, I'm, if they're going to be part of my team. See, this is when you get good. You want part of this? Well, let me tell you what this is. And you start to edify. Do you know all of you on this call can edify the results of your upline? If you have a president above you, somewhere up there or above, you can, you, you, you can let people know what they're part of. You know how many times I tell the story? I don't tell my story, we're presidents. I tell Jeremy's story. I tell Chad and Atita's story. I tell Nat and Chanita's story. Because those people, and I let them know who we're part of, and you know what I say? I'm right behind them. You know what you say? I'm right behind them. You could tell Jeff and Lisa's story, then Jeremy's story. Because this is success, is it not? Well, this is the success team they're joining. What's that worth? Do you see, now you got the globe in your head. Remember the globe? It's here where you begin to master the people business. But understand guys, what this is all about. As I close this thing out, and I'll say it again, I'm gonna put the camera on. Every single one of you have untapped potential. Untapped, but tapping your potential takes commitment and sacrifice. That's why there's a lot of people out there with unbelievable potential. And you know what? They never tap into it because they're afraid of fear and doubt. They're afraid of what people think. The way you tap into your potential is to take uncomfortable action. The way you tap into your potential is to take a lot of times uncomfortable action.
Well, you know what? Sending out that, that text was uncomfortable. Doing that follow-up was uncomfortable. Well, guess what? You make all the money in the uns. Doing the uncomfortable, the unnatural, and the unbelievable. That's the action. And you prove it to yourself once you take consistent action, consistent action, consistent action, you will get belief because you're going to get a result. And when you get belief, okay, guess what? Here comes the result. And then you say, you know what? I can do it again. Now you enter a brand new person into this. And what do you want them to do? You have to let them know you have unbelievable potential. When do you think people are told that? How often do you think every day people are told they have unbelievable potential? Be that person. Compliment people. Watch how they light up like a Christmas tree. We're not told every day we have unbelievable potential. You know what we're told if we have a job? You're lucky you have it. Because I got 50 other people that would die for your job and I could pay them less. Stand out. Let people know. I'm letting all of you know you have unbelievable potential, but it's not going to happen without action. Go back to the income disclosure. Right? Everybody has potential. But why is it some people make nothing and some people are making a million dollars a month? Do you think they have anything over on you? I will tell you they don't. They will tell you they don't. But what they will tell you is they've made sacrifices that most people won't make and they got into the uns. That's what they'll tell you. And their belief is such, it doesn't make a difference if someone says yes or no to them. They don't care. They've gotten to the point where they don't care where other people think, period. And if you catch yourself worrying about what other people think, you still need to grow leaps and bounds. You're still choking. That's okay. I'll keep burping you. Maybe it's going to take you till you're six years old till you start to crawl. Right? Maybe it'll take you till you're 15 until you start to walk. As long as you don't quit. It's all about you. But I will tell you, every single person, I appreciate you for being on these calls. You want it. Now go sacrifice and get it. Get to your rank, guys. Make your goal. Work seven days hard as you possibly can. And I promise you, okay, you will be way better off by taking the journey as, if you, as opposed to if you don't at least make the effort. Appreciate. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you guys uh, on the call at 10 o'clock. Thank you.